Hello Minions, Wheezy here, and today I am going to show you how to bypass HDCP 2.2 on your Xbox Series X or Series S so that you can capture at 4K 60Hz whatever you want from your console. I'm going to show you exactly what you need, how to set it up, and we're going to get you squared away, so come check it out. Okay, so real, bri real, 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 real briefly, we're going to talk about why, what is HDCP and why might you want to bypass it. HDCP is High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection or High Definition Content Protection. What it means is there is a content protection encryption in your modern electronic devices that makes it talk and, in and uh, exchange an encrypted handshake with your display devices so that it can talk to it and it knows that you're not going to be some sort of dirty, stupid, filthy little pirate. A lot of government and a lot of laws involved here. And you know what it does? Is it hurts the people like us who actually pay for content and all it does is make our electronics not work right. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix that because it doesn't need to be a pain in the ass. As you'll see right now, I capture video for YouTube and I have my audio out for my speaker that's connected to my computer hooked through that. When HDCP is active, as you can see OBS talking to my Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus, it even kills my audio, right? So if I turn off, uh, if, I, if I have HDCP active, and this is how the Series X works. I wonder if it works here. Let's see, if I exit, if I exit Netflix, I'm not even sure about this yet. The way it worked on the other Xbox, on the Xbox One, I have another video for that, for the Xbox One, Xbox One X. Um, you have to uh, completely restart the console to deactivate HDCP because HDCP only becomes active on the Xbox. Unlike the PlayStation, you turn HDCP on or off and it's always on or it's always off. If it's off, you can't access things that require HDCP like Netflix. On the Xbox, what it does is it will dynamically turn on HDCP only when you start content that is protected. So I just closed out of Netflix and HDCP is still active. So I will actually, and because this has a soft turn off, this was how the Series X worked as well, the Xbox One, doing the soft shutdown still won't turn off HDCP. You have to go into the menu settings and explicitly hard power off the console in order to get it to deactivate HDCP. This is a pain in the ass. <laughs> So if I go back to playing video games, I still can't fix it. Look, okay, so there it goes. It, it popped back onto the HDCP protection. So I don't even, you know what? I don't even know if, I may just skip this part because it's gonna be too irritating for me to even stumble through. I knew where the setting was on the Series X. I don't know if I know where it is here. So let's, let's see if I can just figure it out on the fly here. We need to get to settings. And we're gonna go to system and we're gonna go to Actually, we want power, power mode and startup. We want instant on on. So in the other one, people would say turn off instant on to get around this. But the problem with that is then you never get the benefits of the fast boot. So what you want is inside here under power mode and, shot and startup, you want to go to full shutdown. And that is going to completely turn off your Xbox. And the way this is going to work that's the digital content protection. Once it turns all the way off, that will go away. When you turn it back on, HDCP will stay off until you launch something like Netflix that requires the HDCP protection. So as you can see, you may want to bypass that in case you don't want your life to be fucking irritating. <laughs> now, I am someone who has a lot of electronics, clearly. So to me, this setup is kind of important because I don't want to have to be unplugging things and rewiring everything just because I turn on Netflix. So I am going to hook this up here in just a second. I'll explain to you guys exactly how I do that so that you can get this shit sorted out. Oh God. This is something that you don't really experience if you don't do a full shutdown. The original Xbox startup. That doesn't happen <laughs> when you just put turn the console off and it doesn't do a full shutdown. Um, after the full shutdown, let's see, it's still, it's still talking. These are HDCP handshakes going on right now. So you can see HDCP is off. Um, I will, first of all, irritate myself, turn Netflix back on. 
so that you can watch AC, HDCP <laughs> lock down. My audio just died, right? Okay, I'm gonna hook up the circuit, show you how this works. Okay, so we have got this hooked up. And as we can see, we are now living inside of OBS with Formula One Drive to Survive. Um, and I muted this just because I didn't want any audio getting through there to trigger YouTube into saying that I'm putting shit up there that I shouldn't be. So you can see that HDCP has been bypassed. So I'm going to go home just to keep that from getting too crazy and show you exactly what I've done here. These three components are what you need. They are all required. I have purchased a lot of different stuff over the years. Um, this splitter is basically the same kind of thing as this splitter. I've used these splitters since back in the Xbox 360 days. Uh, I'll explain how it all works, but I've tried a lot of stuff. This works, this is reliable. If you buy these things, which you can get them on Amazon today, they will be to your house in two days if they're in stock. This will work, 4K 60 hertz goodness for you. Um, I will actually, real quick, Go over and give you the proof in the pudding here. Let me. Nope, that's not. Nope, that's not it. Okay, go back. Um, here we go. Menu. One, two. Info. Twenty-one sixty. That's four K, sixty hertz. Four K, sixty hertz. This also, I don't have it set up right now. This does support HDR. I didn't mention that in the PS5 one. Supports HDR as well. So what do we got here? Uh, this isn't required for it. I do this just because I have a lot of electronics. This is an HDMI 2.0, HDCP 2.2 compatible switch. I use this because I have the PS5, Series X, PS4 Pro, Series X, uh, not Series X, Xbox One X. All hooked in here. I like it to be effortless for me. Um, I will put a link for this as well if you want to use it. This doesn't require any explanation. It's just a switch, but it's compatible with HDCP 2.2, which is necessary if you want to do 4K 60 hertz. So the output from that, so the Series X boop, boop, is hooked into this switch. Output from the switch goes to the input to this, which is an HDMI 2.0, HDCP 2.2 compatible splitter. Now, the reason we need this splitter, well, at least for me, is, I mean, I guess technically you don't have to have this. I didn't realize, I didn't mention that before in the PS5 one. This splitter is so I can split this out to my other TV, it goes through my wall out into my den to my big TV. Um, I guess technically, um, not I guess, but you can actually run this without uh, this splitter. But if you want a splitter, you need one that's 2.2 compatible, okay? This, this splitter is going to be HDCP free. Anyway, getting back to the point, this compatible splitter, the output from this splitter uh, is going, like I said, to my TV and also to this box. This box is the heart of the entire thing. This is an HDCP 2.2 to HDCP 1.4 converter. It is a HDCP down converter. This box, they've, they've already gone through court and stuff like that. HDCP down converters are totally okay and legal, not violation of copyright, because this is necessary if you need to run your current gen devices to an old TV. If you have an old HDCP 1.4 TV or, or stereo receiver, you can't use your new PlayStation 5 on that equipment unless you have this. So this is very necessary if you have old equipment. And if you have newer equipment like I do, but you don't want things to be a pain in the ass, this is also very helpful. Input here, HDCP 2.2. The output is HDCP 1.4. And here's where the magic happens. This old school splitter, which is only really rated for like 1080p, but again, inside it's just wires. It's just a, a, a dumb splitter but it does strip HDCP 1.4, okay? These older splitters, which we used to use in the Xbox 360 before they had the ability to turn off HDCP in consoles, you had to use something like this to capture. They still work if you bring it out of this down converter because it, it won't pull off HDCP 2.2 directly. I tried it. You can't plug this into that, won't work. You gotta down convert to 1.4, then this will strip off the 1.4. Cool, this output now has no HDCP. It goes here to the input of my Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus. This is a 4K pass-through. Uh, it only captures in 1080p, but if you have a 4K capture, it's gonna allow you to do that. So the point being, you can capture here. The pass-through, the red is the output, and that goes, I don't even know if you can see it, back here to the input of 
my display, which is at 4K 60 Hertz, full 444 HDR. Beautiful, fantastic, working just fine. So I will put links to where you guys can get all of this stuff. I guess I will clarify the PlayStation 5 video. Uh, I might have to put a note in there to clarify. You don't have to have this. <laughs> I use this because I'm splitting it out to another TV. If you wanna hook it to another TV, I could also have run the output from this, um, but again, that makes this a required part of it. This is the important part. The output from your HDCP 2.2 device gets down converted to 1.4 and then the 1.4 gets stripped. All these devices are very affordable. I would recommend getting a splitter because here's the thing. You're not gonna wanna rely on this all the time. You're gonna find a point where you wanna just use a simple splitter without all of this. You're gonna wanna have an HDCP 2.2 compatible splitter. I'll put the switch in there as well. This is what you need. Obviously the HDMI cables to go with it, but that's it, easy peasy. You hook that up, HDCP is no longer a problem for you. Uh, real quickly, I am gonna address one more thing about 4K at above 60 Hertz. So this question has been asked in my uh, other videos, one where I just talked about stripping HDCP 2.2 in general and the PS4 Pro and the Xbox Series X um, videos that I did. And that is, will this support 4K 120 Hertz? Because both the Series X and the PS5 are capable of that. Um, and what I will tell you is that it should be, and I'll give you a more serious explanation, the splitter and the switch are both only advertised as HDMI 2.0. And HDMI 2.1 is the spec that includes 4K 120, and I believe the, 4K, the HDMI 2.1 spec goes all the way up to like 10K 120 hertz, okay? So these are not officially compliant with HDMI 2.1, okay? I don't have a 4K 120 hertz display in order to test this. And because of the way HDMI does a handshake, I can't, I can't just like tell it to give me 120 hertz. It just won't, okay? So I can't test it. And they're not officially rated for it. That said, these devices, unlike the displays and the computers and the capture devices that are actually trying to render the output signal, actually trying to put all that data together, these are just pretty stupid boxes. They're just doing HDMI handshakes or just straight pass-throughs. So that said, the only limitation for pushing that much data is whether or not they can push that amount of electricity fundamentally. That's what goes through these cables. The data signals are electricity. They generate heat. Um, this box, since it's only technically rated for 1080p, when you run 4K through it for a while, it warms up a decent amount. And that can, over time, cause some visual noise in your display where you'll get some hot pixels floating around which it isn't really awful, um, and all you gotta do is let that thing cool down. I, if it was a big issue for me, I might even try to figure out uh, a cooling base or some, side of, some sort of cooling system for that thing. That said, it's just pushing data. So, given the caveats that I can't test it, and I can't guarantee it to you, and these devices aren't officially rated for it, I can't tell you whether or not these will push 4K 120 hertz, but my electrical engineering brain, I did get a degree in electrical engineering, I am an engineer by trade and a software guy, it could, it should. I mean, there's, it's possible. There is a, there is a compelling argument that that will work if you, I'm talking to you, yes, Billy, I know it's you. Billy would never have a 4K under 20 hertz display. It would definitely be Greg. I'm sorry, Greg. Greg, if you have a 4K 120 hertz display, and I know you do, because you're watching on it right now, you can afford to spend whatever, 60 bucks on some of these. Test it and reply to me put it on this video. Does it work? I bet it will. I bet it'll work at 4K under 20 hertz. I can't test it. Greg, you're going to test it for me and you're going to let me know if it works. And then I'm going to let everybody else know because I'm a cool guy like that. I'll give you all the props and all the love too. So that's it. Uh, if you guys, I mean, this isn't all I do. I do a lot of gameplay stuff. I'm a nerd, but in general, I'm just, I try to give people value. If there's something that I find useful and helpful, it's going to help you guys have more fun, live a better life, not be irritated by stupid shit like HDCP. You need to subscribe because I do cool stuff. Um, that's really it for now. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this is going to solve all of your problems. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.